The astronomical puzzle is intriguing. You've likely heard about the discovery of six ancient galaxies whose immense mass defies the standard cosmological model. Experts had hoped these unusual formations might be reclassified, but the James Webb Telescope has now identified an even older and equally massive galaxy. This forces researchers to acknowledge that their understanding of physics falls short in explaining the early universe. What does this mean for the broader perspective? Could this spell the end for the Big Bang Theory? And if so, what alternative explanations exist for the origin of the cosmos? When the James Webb Telescope launched on December 25, 2021, it embarked on a mission both simple and profound to transform our understanding of the universe. Less than three years after its celebrated launch, this $1 billion instrument is already proving its worth. Designed for infrared astronomy, Webb could theoretically detect the heat of a bumblebee on the moon from Earth. In practice, its sensitive infrared optics have already revealed the earliest active black hole, the universe's dawn star, and the oldest known galaxies. Each new Webb discovery brings fresh insights, but sometimes these revelations challenge everything we thought we knew about the early universe's structure formation. Experts first learned of this issue early last year when the James Webb Telescope detected six early galaxies existing just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, galaxies that, by conventional cosmology, shouldn't exist. These early star clusters were expected to be small and low in mass. However, the universe seems indifferent to our models. The newly discovered galaxies have masses nearly equivalent to our Milky Way today. Each of the six structures contains over 10 billion solar masses, with one possibly exceeding 100 billion solar masses. Given this, the lead astronomers from the University of Technology in Melbourne and Pennsylvania State University initially suspected an error. However, after thorough checks, the data proved accurate. Why is this so significant? The presence of these extraordinarily massive galaxies challenges nearly all current cosmological models. These models propose that the first stars formed around 200 to 300 million years after the universe's birth, but they also suggest there wasn't enough normal matter at that time to form so many stars so quickly. Another possibility is that some of these objects could be dust-covered black holes, but this would still indicate that the early cosmos had far more stellar matter than previously thought. If even one of these galaxies is real, it would stretch our understanding of cosmology, suggesting either the early universe had two to five times more matter than models predict, or that galaxies grew in a completely unknown manner. Webb's latest breakthrough showcases its unparalleled capabilities. In July 2022, astronomers announced the discovery of the earliest known galaxy, Glass Z-13, which existed 300 million years after the Big Bang. Now, Webb has found an even older galactic record holder. Researchers led by Stefano Carniani have identified a galaxy, Jadis GS Z-14-0, that emerged just 290 million years after the cosmos began, an era when, according to conventional wisdom, the first stars had only recently formed. Although this discovery was announced in early June, the galaxy had already appeared in images from the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, in spring 2023. The data revealed a redshift of more than ZU-114. To grasp why this is so significant, consider cosmological redshift. Different galaxies exhibit various absorption lines, with those further away showing greater redshifts. This redshift results not from the galaxy's movement, but from the expansion of space itself. In astronomy, redshift is often expressed as a dimensionless quantity z, 
To uncover the true nature of this unexpectedly bright galaxy, the research team employed the high-resolution NIR spec spectrometer on the James Webb Telescope, revealing a redshift of 14.32%. The Lyman Alpha break, which indicates the extent of the redshift, confirmed this finding. These measurements left no doubt that the galaxy existed around 290 million years after the Big Bang. However, it's possible that the galaxy formed much earlier, with experts suggesting it took around 100 million years to reach its observed size. The galaxy's distance record and its early formation are impressive, but scientists are equally intrigued by its luminosity. The galaxy is estimated to have contained several hundred million solar masses of stars. This raises a major question. How could such a bright, massive galaxy form in under 300 million years? Adding to the mystery, the galaxy's spectrum shows bright emission lines of hydrogen and oxygen, indicating that several generations of massive stars had already completed their life cycles before astronomers observed it. This surprising discovery undermines the previous view of the universe as populated only by small, faint galaxies. Researchers expect this shift to be confirmed further, as the James Webb Telescope continues to find more impossible early galaxies in the coming years. Does this challenge the Big Bang Theory? Recent findings and others are prompting some scientists to question its validity. The theory posits that space, Matter and time emerged from a singularity about 13.8 billion years ago. While the Big Bang theory is widely accepted and supported by cosmic microwave background radiation, it still raises unanswered questions. Specifically, how could something arise from nothing? And was there a specific trigger for this event? Or was it merely a coincidence? Stephen Hawking noted that time itself began with the Big Bang, making it difficult to envision a cause or external factor initiating the process. No less confusing is the question of uniform radiation and density in the cosmos. No matter in which direction or at what distance we look, on a large scale, similar densities and distributions of galaxies, nebulae, and radiation exist everywhere. Conservative experts explain this with cosmic inflation. Other experts take this assumption and extend it further. According to chaotic inflation, it is conceivable that this process only halted in a few bubble-shaped areas while continuing indefinitely elsewhere. This also suggests that multiple sub-universes formed within these bubbles, each with its own unique physical laws. In this context, a fundamental question arises. What if the cosmos does not represent the complete picture at all? What if another universe existed before ours? In this scenario, the Big Bang would transform into a big bounce. According to this hypothesis, the concepts of beginning and end may not apply in a cosmic sense. What we commonly refer to as the Big Bang could be merely a cyclical transition, where one universe collapses and a new one emerges from it. This model envisions the universe, part of a multi-dimensional structure, undergoing an eternal rhythm of collapse and reconstruction. However, this is not the only theory on the table. Beyond the Big Bang theory, one of the most intriguing and controversial theories comes from quantum physics and string theory. Allegedly, experiments suggest that the universe and everything within it might not actually exist. In simpler terms, what we perceive as a visible universe could be a flat hologram projected onto a sphere. This implies that we and our reality might be the result of a superior simulation. What might seem like the plot of a futuristic movie can actually be linked to the Kardashev scale which measures a civilization's advancement based on its energy consumption. If a Type 3 civilization could harness the total power of an entire galaxy, it might have created a perfect simulation with a so-called matryoshka brain. 
Whether we truly want to uncover the truth about our cosmic home is another question. Meanwhile, if you haven't already, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Join our community now and never miss a new video from us again.